Hello everyone, welcome to Zinc Tennis Vlog. Welcome to Zinc Tennis Vlogs. Today we're going to talk a little bit about like match review, you know, what the perspective is from the player, you know, what the perspective is from the coach. Um, and just Ben and I have been going and watching some matches from, you know, our students and just we want to talk a little bit about, you know, how to be self-reflective and I call it the ability to receive, right? It's like when somebody is, you know, criticizing or constructive critiquing me, right? My immediate my immediate uh, reaction is to go into defensive and say, I'm not doing that. Just almost like the opposite. Like, I'm not doing that, you know? And I think one of the things is that could be some of the, co the coach's voice. And, and, you know, I think one of the, the things that I have when, you know, when I'm coaching is that I put people in this situation where they feel like uh, they have to be defensive. So that might be my deal coaching. But one of the things we want to talk about is just the ability to receive information and then go analyze whether that information is right or wrong. So let's talk a little bit about just, you know, just, you know, player A, you're coaching them and they just come off the court and you're giving them some information about that match. So give us a little bit of what that looks like and, you know, A, what it looks like and then B, what you might want to see. You know, yeah. I think that's uh, huge. I think, I think sometimes like... As a, as a player, like we all have different emotions that are that are going through our mind, especially after a loss. Um, and so we might not be in. Like so I like to give my players, personally, I like to give them a little bit of time to just kind of reflect on their own. I think a lot of times what happens is when we go out and play a match, um, we care a lot. And then what happens is our like, but along with that, our ego cares a lot too. So it's almost like when we lose, it's a it's a hit to our ego. And and then when we start to analyze that, I feel like it becomes a like what you said, like very defensive and. And especially as a coach, when you see things from the outside, it's tough to, you know, because they need to be changed, right? Like things that need to be changed. So you're, you're, it's not things that were necessarily done well. So I think for me personally, as a, as a, as a player, um, now I would struggle with this as a, as a team when I was a teen, is, is kind of understanding, okay, I've lost the match. So there were obviously things that I could do differently. And, and instead of being reflective on what my, my, you know, what my strokes might have done and what might have let me down, um, is just being okay. Like I'd like to know what I could do better. Um, I think that that would be the first step is to say, okay, like I understand that I didn't do something right in this match. So like my obviously the first person I was going to ask is somebody that's been there and watching it. And I think that that's the toughest part is somebody that from the outside maybe not so objective. You know, a, a coach is probably a little more objective than a family member, but you never know. Um, but just trying to say, okay, what what did I do and w what can I do to change and understand that it's maybe not. In the analysis of it all, is trying not to be so emotional about it and understand like it's, that it's a that they're trying to be negative with you as a person, but instead understanding that it's it's for your own benefit and getting mm -hmm. you better. And I think that's the toughest part sometimes, uh, you know, about criticism is sometimes it's tough to not take it emotionally um, inside, but instead it's it's a little bit tougher. So I think that that's one of the things for me is I kind of like we said being open to it and, and wanting that information. Um, so along with that, like. As the player continues on, it is the second part is okay. How fast can they can they reduce can they bring it back out and say okay that was information in now I need to show that I've got that information out and can you share a little bit about with like what you know about people yeah. internalizing that information I think that that's a tough one is to get that yeah. in and out. So I think that the one biggest thing and we know as coaches right because we travel with the kids and we see the kids and so the first thing that we see is that you know, the defense mechanism comes up, which Ben just talked about. The defense mechanism comes up. And so I think it's it's really kind of being self-reflective. And I think the, big, the biggest thing, my, you know, my biggest successes have come in from let's start to film the matches. And that's another thing that we can talk about here. Like we're doing this thing called match analysis where you can send in a, in a, uh, a film of your match and we can analyze it on a screen share and analyze it. And I just don't think there's anything better. So when we can actually show the student what they're doing mm -hmm. um, and they, and so there's no objective. Well, I wasn't doing this or I was doing this. So number one, we got to figure out what's, what's the problem. But then what Ben was, then the next step is that what, how do we, how do we get the problem fixed? And I think this is the biggest thing that my focus and Ben's focus is on is that, 
there are a lot of coaches out there, and, and again, this isn't any bust on other coaches. This is just what we're seeing. There's a lot of coaches out there that are analyzing the problem. Okay, here is the problem, but then what is the fix? You yeah. know, what is the fix? And I think, again, the the you have to break down what's going on. You know, is it, you know, the in our last vlog, one of the things that we talked about is the reset. So if the reset isn't happening, then that, that affects their, their feet to get set for the next ball. They didn't recognize what ball they hit. So they've got to be able to receive the information that we're giving them. And then Ben and I and, and your coaches out there have to have the tools to break this down to say, okay, now how do we fix the problem? Because one of the things that I'm going through this period of my life where you know, you can tell me what the problem is all day long, but if somebody doesn't tell me how to, you know, solve it, or I can't figure out how to solve it, it just becomes a frustrating circle, right? So I want to be able to figure out how to solve it. And I think that's where we are really getting some major success is we're figuring out how to solve these issues that your son and daughter are having out on the tennis court. They're struggling with, you know, whether it's pressure or dealing with things or not playing smart match or, you know, not moving their feet, looking lazy on the court, all these things. I think that the student doesn't necessarily know and we got to show them and then we got to break it down. So I think, you know, learning, you know, how to receive the information and then learning how to, okay, these are the problems and I'm open to that. I'm open to, okay, these are the problems. Okay, coach, what are the, what are, how do I solve these? And be open to be, have the ability to solve them. Yeah. And once we get to that spot and we can start to solve these things, we're going to see the tennis players start to get better. And I don't know about you, Ben, but like, I find that all these people are coming into town and, and, and I'm watching all these kids at other tur that the tournaments that you know, we're watching, mm -hmm. and I very rarely see somebody just get a lot better. I just don't yeah. see it, right? I don't see people. Yeah. And the reason I think we're not seeing these kids get, when I say a lot better, sure, they're going like this, they're going like this, but I think that they could be on this different yeah. trajectory if they would just do what we're talking about is start to really analyze and listen and open open the gates and say, yes, bring the information in, and yeah. now I'm ready to work on, and what is the plan? Yeah, and then you just you just said it for sure, I think, is, is the plan. Like, I think... And so even some people can come up with a solution. Oh, you need to go do this. That's the one thing we've been talking about all the yeah. time is uh, go work hard. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, yes. I don't really know what that means. Hey, hey, you need to make the ball. What does that mean? You know, we, we talk about, you know, making a recipe. You need to have the ingredients, but you also need to have the step-by-step -step process. And that's the one thing that we like to show our students and everybody that's been coming in and people we've been working with is, okay, here are the steps to improve this. And then being able to go out and do it over and over and over again. And I think that that sometimes gets lost in the shuffle is the recipe. You know, if I make the world's best cookie, that recipe isn't changing. You know what I mean? So I think that that's something that you've got to realize is that the, if the recipe's there, then it has to go out and we have to work on it every single day to make it better. And I think that that's where we get lost in the shuffle a little bit too, is, is finding the finding the recipe and then executing it day in and day out. Because that that to me a lot of times you know hitting serve for 20 minutes a day that's the recipe but how many kids actually go out and hit serve for 20 minutes a day it gets boring it's, re it's repetitive I'm not really enjoying it um, but those are the those are the things that we see that get players a lot better is understanding what that recipe is and we and we feel like we have a good recipe uh, to be honest we have a great recipe and I think that that's something that we can can share and we want to share with with everyone in our audience so I, I think that being solution-oriented solution and finding out that plan and, and then being able to execute on that plan is the hardest thing and, and, be, and could we find that too is like the execution is there one or two days but over the long period of time that's where it really has to change and, and once that happens you are going to see that trajectory go from from this slow from the slow slope to a much steeper one I, I think I totally agree so I want to leave you guys with this question all right I want to leave you with this question do you have a son or daughter, or are you the player that's listening to this, that there's something wrong in your game, that you know there's something wrong? And I, you, you, you watched your son or daughter practice last week, and they played amazing. They got to the tournament, and they just didn't play to their potential. And this is happening over and over and over again. And you're getting coached, and you're leaving you know, your, your son or daughter off with a coach, and for some reason, this isn't getting fixed. Are you frustrated? Like I'm a, I come from a different angle that I'm a parent, I'm a coach, and I'm a player. 
and I come from all three different angles. As a parent, it's been the worst one for me because I understand that it's frustrating to watch my kids in a situation and not be able to solve the solve the you know I, if I didn't know what I know about tennis I'd be even 10 times more frustrated so if there's parents out there that are frustrated that you want your son or daughter to get to another level there's something missing they don't a they're not understanding what the problem is like Ben yeah. talked about they're not receiving the information and then thirdly they're not getting the advice to how to solve it or fourth which we hope is not the case that they're just darn stubborn and they just you know want to do it their way Right? If that's the case, then you need somebody else to break that down. But this is what Ben and I are doing. We're on this mission to change this in kids' lives. We really want to make a difference. We want, to, we want this to, to, to uh, people out there to understand that there are solutions. And if your son or daughter has any you know, aspirations to play you know, college tennis, even pro tennis, and you're, not, and you're feeling this frustration on your end, I think you need to call us and you need to email us because you come in for a couple days and we're going to show you the plan to get you better for sure. So, you know, and, and I, get, I will do this. I will tell you 100% that Ben, you come into, you come into Zinc Tennis for one, two, three, four, five, seven days and your son or daughter doesn't get like ridiculous amount better and you don't understand that this process is going to really make them a different type of player, we give you your money back 100%. You don't, put, you don't charge us for that week. That's how confident that we are, that we have the system to change this. So again, we're putting these vlogs out there for just give you information, but understand that we do have the solutions. We have the recipe to make this happen. You, you know, And if you need our help, even if you feel like you can't come in and you need our help to find a coach that can help you do this, we'll help you do that too. It doesn't have to be us, but we have to find the right person because we have to change the game of tennis and the way the kids are receiving the information and doing something about it. We have to change this definitely uh, around the world. And if we don't, then we're gonna see kids just stay at the same level, which we're seeing a lot in what we do. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us again. We have a lot more coming your way. Uh, we're working on these webinars. So if you have topics that you would like to see us uh, discuss or cover, please leave us a note in the YouTube channel or, or Facebook or Twitter, whatever you see us on. But we just thank you so much for your support, and we're excited to bring these things to you. Have an awesome, have an awesome day. day guys.